Hello, my name is Felix. My third topic is the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. Why would Japan travel around the world and bomb Pearl Harbor? It all begins in about 1904. In 1904, Japan fought against Russia. They won. Russia was a really strong country, yet they still beat them. Then, in World War I, Japan teamed up with Britain to defeat Germany. Japan won two times. They began to grow ambitious. However, Japan did not get much benefit after fighting on World War I, even though they were on the winning side. That made Japan angry. Then, in 1929, the Great Depression began to start. Japan was more poor than ever. They had to fight. First, they took over a small part of China in 1931. In 1937, they took a big part of China. I think they were crazy. They buried many innocent citizens for no reason. They swiped their swords at them to kill them. An estimated 300,000 innocent children, men, and women died. Many Japanese people have heard about Adolf Hitler making a German empire in Europe. Japan wanted its own empire too, because almost all of Asia is controlled by the West. The Philippines are Americas and so on. The commander, Isarako Yamato, has been to America two times and knows how good America is. However, his army and the general urged him to go with Germany, and Isarako Yamato just had no choice but to agree. When Roosevelt became president, he was worried about Germany and started to make plans to defend him. However, he always had an eye on Japan, just in case it takes the advantage and strikes them. Roosevelt thinks Japan might hit Hawaii, so he sent a navy army to Hawaii. Meanwhile, Japan thinks they should go to the Philippines. Isaraku Yamato says instead that if we want to fight, you have to attack the real inside of America, Hawaii. The seas were rough to Hawaii, and it would take 12 days. There were over 1 million things that could go wrong, like somebody spotted them. Isaraku Yamato thought the chance to win was 50%. He was a gambler, so 50% was actually good for him. See, on one hand, he thinks it's insane. On the other hand, he's talking about how to win. After Japan is two days at sea, America felt something was wrong. Roosevelt thinks it's Japan. He listed 10 different places they might strike and mailed it to Hawaii. Some are Malaysia, Philippines, and so on. In Roosevelt's letter, the first sentence was, This dispatch is considered a war warning. This sentence is one of the most famous sentences of all time. They split the Navy group on Hawaii. Someone here, someone there, some stayed at Hawaii. After being out at sea for 11 days, Japan was 200 miles from Hawaii. There were some volunteers at Hawaii testing out a radar. A radar is something that can sense if any airplanes are coming. Suddenly, the radar showed a big block of airplanes. In total, it was 108. The headquarters thought it was just the Navy returning. Japan reached Hawaii at 7.45 a.m. When they got there, they dropped hundreds of bombs and used dozens of torpedoes. Torpedoes are like bombs underwater. Many things were destroyed. 19 ships sank, 32 airplanes crashed. In about several minutes, all these stuff were destroyed. At 9.45 a.m., Japan left. About 2,000 people are killed. When Japan went home, everybody was happy. Everyone except Isarako Yamato. He has been to America and learned two things. The first is that Americans love the ships. If the ships are gone, they're going to be crazy. That means war. He knew Americans don't give up just because they lost one battle. The second is that America are actually better at flying. They had better aircrafts, better planes. And Japan left the aircrafts untouched. As Araku Yamato knew they had made a mistake. It may be good for short term, but for long term, you don't really know. The Pearl Harbor bombing really shocked Americans. Officers captured tons of innocent Japan citizens who they thought had been spying for them. Some were actually spies, the others were just citizens. There were 5,000 Japanese people on the small island. A few days after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, Roosevelt made a speech. He said that we should fight and stand up. No matter how long it may take us, 
to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, Winston heard that America had joined the Allies side, attacking Germany and Japan. Winston Churchill said, maybe we haven't lost after all. What he meant was, he thought that they were going to lose, because Britain's obviously going to lose Germany and Japan combined. But now, America is joining in to defeat the Axis power. Four days after Roosevelt's speech, Germany declared war on the United States, attacking the East. There are three people you should know. Isaraku Yamato, which you already know him, Roosevelt, which you already know him, and Husband E. Kimmel. Husband E. Kimmel was a leader of the Navy. When he heard the ships exploded, he knew his days as ship captain was over. He was in his room when the bombing of Pearl Harbor happened. He never saw the planes, he only saw the end. Everything blew. It was like the nightmare. America is angry and upset that Japan has destroyed their airplanes and ships. Japan is happy, but America just wants revenge. Or for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The next episode is on the way and you won't want to miss it.